30th minute goal from Amalia Villarreal for the United States of America. She's one of the nation's top teen women's soccer players, and at just 17 years old, she helped Team USA U19 women's soccer bring home the bronze medal just weeks ago. Amalia Villarreal is here to tell us about her incredible soccer journey and what the future has in store for her. So welcome to the show, Amalia. Hi, happy to be here. Yes, we're so happy to have you. Now, just reading all of that, all of your accomplishments, I bet it feels a little surreal. I mean, you're only 17, so what does this feel like? Uh, well, I mean, surreal is like the perfect word to be able to put for it, but I mean, honestly, it's just unbelievable to be able to achieve this dream and goal of mine that I've had. So honestly, yeah. I'm just so thankful. Kind of rewind us a little bit. Tell us, where does your story start? When did you start playing? Um, I started really young, and I started when I was about three or four years old, but I mean, my parents really just put me into every sport and mm -hmm. just see, just to see like what I liked. Yeah. And then when I kind of figured out that soccer was my true passion, they, they just really helped me to be able to support me through this entire time. Yeah, and like what age would you say you were like, this is my thing? Ooh, I don't know. I really played, I played um, basketball and soccer a lot when I was growing up, okay. but I guess I'd say when I was around seven or eight, I think I really, wow. you could really like tell and see that that was really what I wanted to do. So last month you played a very, very big game and you helped bring home the bronze medal. Tell us about that. Where did you play and what were you playing for? We were in the Pan American Games in Santiago, Chile. Wow. And I mean, that was a really, that was a really big thing because when they were um, telling us about it, I was kind of, it wasn't necessarily something that I'd heard of before. So yeah. then once they started giving us all the information, I realized how big of a deal it was. And yeah. I mean, it was such a cool experience to represent Team USA and to be with all the players that I was with, it was just like, everything was perfect. Yeah, and I imagine you're with players from all over. Um, what was some? Of, what was your favorite memory of that experience? Uh, I, I think that my favorite memory would have to be when we won, when we won the bronze medal, but and like the ceremony after. But I think really the best moment was that final match because we all just worked so hard together, and we knew that that was our goal, and we knew we wanted to come home with something. Malia Fierreal. Placing it beyond Vanina Correa. I mean, honestly, it was everything was perfect that day. You've been described as having a very like feisty, in a good way, a feisty style of playing. Some people have even called you. I read a five foot two Spitfire. <laughs> Others have said you're the player that people need to keep their eyes on. But how would you describe your style? What gives you that fire people are talking about? Well, I guess I think that I've just always been driven and I know mm -hmm. that that's something like if I put my mind to accomplish something that's what that's really the, all, all my main goal is and that's really all I'm thinking about in that yeah. moment so I think I mean I wouldn't say that they're like wrong to describe <laughs> me like that it's kind of in the moment thing that I'm I'm comfortable I know what needs to be done so then just doing it is the hardest part your soccer journey really has only started it doesn't stop here so where next Amalia well I'll be going to college in the fall at the University of Texas, and I think that's my that's my next big yeah. that's my next big step. I'm really I mean it's a big step for anybody, but I'm really excited to be going there. And everything felt right when I was on the visit. The whole coaching staff is amazing, yeah. and I mean also the team is incredible. So I'm really looking forward to that and to be able to be prepared for it. Yeah, I just I love the game, and I it's it's my passion. Like it's what. Sometimes it's not necessarily what I want to do on some days, but there's always in the back of my mind, I know what my goals are and how I want to achieve them. So I just have to make sure that day in, day out, I have to achieve that. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Studio 10, Amalia. We wish you the best of luck, and we will be cheering you on every step of the way, and we just can't wait to see uh, where this journey takes you. So thank, thank you. you.